Well, this was a very important week for our diocese. We welcomed our new bishop, uh, Bishop uh, Michael Fisher, and he's installed on Friday of this week. And we are so happy to have him with us here as our new ordinary. And we know he has got a, a big job ahead of him, helping us to restart the diocese and get it back on track. But we know he's up to the task. And of course, our prayers and best wishes are with him for everything he has to do. And we're all supporting him as best we can. And we all want to be part of this renewal of the diocese. And of course, he was one of, it's really a challenge for him because he was installed on Friday and of course if you're joining us today for Saturday for this Mass, well tonight the Buffalo Bills are playing the Baltimore Ravens and he's from Baltimore so we really want to know who is he re rooting for? Is he rooting for the Bills or the Ravens? Where's his heart going to be? I'm sure it's going to be in the right place but let's keep him in our minds and in our hearts and in our prayers and let's pray a special blessing for him. Bishop, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance and give you his peace. God bless you, Bishop, and welcome to Buffalo. You know, it's so hard to keep a straight face when I listen to you talk about football, baseball, <laughs> hockey, any kind of sport. It's just, it's just so outside of your realm of <laughs> reality. Well, you know, we all have our challenges. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You know, I, today's homily just gave me so much material. I just, you know, if this were a regular Sunday and we were in the church, because you know, like every every mass, I could use something different. You would never know what was coming. But I was thinking, you know, that first part when you talked about the uh, in your homily, you talked about the telephone and everything. You may not know this about your pastor, but he is probably going to be buried with a telephone attached to his ear. This is a man who loves to be in communication. The man loves mail. He slits it open, reads it, sticks it back in his mailbox. It sits there till it piles up forever and ever. Well, you know what they say, sister, you should, you should handle your mail once. <laughs> Mine is handle it once a day. Yes. <laughs> so that, yeah, it's true. But lots of things are happening, and this is seriously, um, this is National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month, and there are some wonderful training sessions that are going on uh, virtually, and we invite you to take a look at that on our, um, on our website in our church bulletin. And there's a special training for people involved in justice, people involved in healthcare, and also for the common citizen in identifying some of the characteristics, some of the red flags for trafficking. And then another thing that's happening at the end of the month is the uh, annual refugee, Western New York Refugee Film Festival, and there's details about that. And um, so we encourage you to check out the bulletin and follow up on some of these wonderful events that are happening. So stay well, stay safe, and God bless you. God bless.